In this lesson, we'll learn about three common reaction patterns, combination, decomposition, and combustion. We'll also get some practice writing and balancing reactions. In a combination reaction, two compounds come together to form a new compound. These are also called synthesis reactions because they synthesize a new compound from their starting materials. An example is the reaction between potassium and chlorine to form potassium chloride. Please pause the video and practice turning the description into a reaction equation. Potassium has the symbol K and chlorine is a Brinkelhoff diatomic with the formula Cl2. Potassium is a solid and chlorine is a deadly gas. Potassium chloride is an ionic compound with the form KCl. Most ionic compounds are solids. I first added two in front of the KCl so that the right side has two chlorine atoms. Then I added two in front of potassium on the left side and the equation is successfully balanced. In a decomposition reaction, one compound turns <clears throat> In a decomposition reaction, one compound breaks down into multiple different compounds. An example is the decomposition of mercury-2 oxide into oxygen and mercury metal. Pause the video and try writing a balanced equation for this reaction. Remember that mercury is one of the weirdos of the periodic table. Its symbol is Hg, and it's the only metal that exists as a liquid at room temperature. Mercury 2, the ion, has a 2 plus charge, so it only needs one oxide ion in order to neutralize that charge. In order to balance this, I first add a 2 in front of mercury oxide, and then I add a 2 in front of mercury. The last pattern of chemical reactivity is combustion, something you have probably experienced yourself. Combustion reactions occur because oxygen is extremely reactive when it's heated to high temperature. Oxygen tears apart organic compounds into water and carbon dioxide. Chem teachers love to assign combustion reactions to test our students' sense of balance. Try balancing this one, if you dare. I suggest balancing carbon first by putting a 2 next to CO2. Then I balance hydrogen by putting a 3 next to water. Lastly, I balance oxygen 